How much money are KSI and Logan Paul making from Prime? I've done the research and this video is my best guess. The answer might very well surprise you. Let's get into this. Prime is a phenomenon here in the UK. Despite being launched in August of 22, right now you still can't buy it. The shelves are empty. It's not a supply chain issue. It's demand. They can't make it fast enough. Prime is positioned in what's called the functional water market. Vitamin water, sports drinks, electrolyte drinks, smart water. The market is worth around 30 billion and it's growing. The leading brand is Gatorade with sales in the billions. KSI and Logan Paul are aiming high. Drinks like Prime need heavy marketing. Using a celebrity to sell drinks works. Nothing new there. In Roman times, gladiators were sponsored by olive oil brands. Today, Ryan Reynolds has aviation gin. Bob Dylan has Heaven's Door whiskey. Sting has message in a bottle wine. Big name YouTubers are proving themselves to be the magic bullet of promotion. They can shift real product on a large scale. If KSI and Logan Paul get this right, they stand to make a lot of money. But how much? So, who owns Prime? KSI and Logan Paul are very much in control of the direction of the company and the brand. They share in the profits, but they're not actually shareholders. In the UK and US, Prime LLC is owned by Max Clements and Trey Steiger. They own Congo Brands. They make Prime and they distribute it. Clements and Steiger are in their 20s. They're accountants. They are the money and the brains. Like KSI and Logan Paul, they're young and hungry and smart. What matters though is who gets the money. Industry insiders have suggested KSI and Logan Paul may own around 20% of Prime each. That sounds a little high to me. Let's compare it to something similar. The rapper 50 Cent kind of started all this. He was the first celebrity who, instead of taking a check to endorse a brand, he got equity. Celebrity endorsement isn't new, but taking equity in the brand you promote, that is new. Vitamin water! None of those other guys would do that. <laughs> Shit. That wasn't part of the skin. <laughs> Cola bought vitamin water for 4.1 billion with a B. 50 cents cut was thought to have been over a hundred million dollars. That's 2%. Logan Paul and KSI strike me as smart kids who do their research and know how to strike a lucrative deal. I think it's realistic to guess that KSI and Logan Paul have around 10% each. That might not sound like much, but Congo Brands put up the money. Congo is taking a risk. Prime might have failed. It still might fail. KSI and Logan Paul are perfectly capable of screwing it up. Look at how Kanye West's involvement with Foot Locker and Adidas backfired. So 10% feels about right. What we want to know is how much money they're making. We're getting there, stick with me. So, how many bottles are they selling? Logan Paul said in his podcast that he'd sold 10 million bottles in the first two months. So that's five million bottles a month at two pound a bottle. That's big, around 10 million pounds in turnover in a single month. It sounds about right too. Compare that to Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who also recently launched a drink called Zoa. Enjoy your Zoa. He says he sold $3.4 million worth in his first month, making Zoa the 15th best-selling drink in this market sector. After a year, Dwayne was boasting sales in excess of $100 million. Prime is selling twice that. Logan Paul is boasting that at Target stores, he is outselling Powerade. That makes Prime number two in the market behind Gatorade. I'm gonna put my neck on the line here and say 
Prime will hit at least $200 million in its first year. That's 10 million bottles a month. And that's a conservative estimate. We're in the right ballpark. Let's go with that. But how does that 10% work? Again, I'm gonna put my neck on the line here. I would guess it's not an even split. KSI and Logan Paul don't earn equally. It's perfectly normal for partners in a global business to carve up territories. I would guess Logan gets most or all of the money from the American territory. After all, he is American and he will lead the sales in the USA. KSI will get all or most of the UK sales. Okay, wow. I could be wrong, but that strikes me as a sensible deal. They both have an interest, they can work together, but they can concentrate on their home turf. If I'm right, that would explain why KSI is so very, very angry about the black market in the UK for Prime. <laughs> a bottle of Prime sells for about two pounds. The retailer will get half, but we're not there yet. That's turnover, not profit. We're really close to an answer now. We have to factor in the cost of labor, payroll, electricity, distribution, raw materials, running a factory, paperwork, logistics, manufacturing. Oh, the list goes on and on. That all effectively comes out of Logan Paul and KSI's pockets. It probably costs between 10p and 30p to make a bottle of Prime. Put it this way, the bottle costs more than the cap and the cap costs more than the stuff inside the bottle. If they sell 100 million bottles, Prime turns over 200 million pounds. It costs about 20 million to make the drink and stick it in a plastic bottle and slap a label on it. I've looked through the Refresco company accounts and they seem to have a profit margin of around 35 to 40 percent. And then there is the marketing on top of all that. Normally, that would be a big, big bill, but I don't think the marketing for Prime is all that expensive. Realistically, the marketing has been pretty low key. Lots of effort, but not lots of cash. Other than a deal with Arsenal Football Club and the number 13 NASCAR driver, there have been no big promotions, no TV ads, no billboards. Really, it's been a few live streams and a couple of YouTube videos, but that's what KSI and Logan Paul are good at. They're playing to their strengths. Their channels are adverts for Prime, and they still get AdSense revenue from YouTube. It's an advert paid for by an advert. We're there, so let's add it all up. How much are KSI and Logan Paul actually making? My best guess is that in the first year, they will sell upwards of 100 million bottles of Prime. That's 200 million pounds. Bottles cost two pound each. As to take one pound, Congo will take about 60p per bottle. It will cost 20 million pounds to make those bottles and about 40 million pounds to run the factory. The profit margin is 40%. Logan Paul and KSI will get 10% of that profit. The profit is 40 million pounds. That's 4 million pounds going to KSI and four million pounds going to Logan Paul and that's only in the first year. Again, I don't know for sure. It's an educated guess. It's a conservative estimate. It could be 10 times that. And it's not all plain sailing. There are lots of problems. The major problem they have is they can't make enough. It's a problem they need to fix. It's going to cost money, more warehousing, more time on production line. To my mind, the other issue is inconsistent bottle design. If all the bottles are slightly different, that reduces confidence in the product. But Give them time. I'm sure they're going to sort the problems out. Now, for the surprising bit you may not have expected, both KSI and Logan Paul have said, at the moment, they're not seeing any money from Prime. That certainly makes sense. It's early days and they need to keep at it. Production costs are probably swallowing up profits right now. It's all about cash flow in the early days of any business. I believe them. Right now, they're probably not making anything, but in a year, they'll see 300,000 pounds a month. At a minimum, maybe four million a year, but that's nothing. I think these two are in it for the big money. The real money will come when Coca-Cola or Pepsi buys them. Not if, 
when they will be bought that's how the drink market works remember coca-cola bought 50 cents vitamin water for 4.1 billion they bought powerade for 5.6 billion but that's chump change compared to the market leader gatorade was bought by pepsi in 2001 for 13 billion and even that could be small beer compared to prime if logan paul and ksi can keep selling prime at these volumes for only another few years if they can keep up sales and expand into asia they could be looking at a very big payday indeed they are in a company that will sell for tens of billions Damn. ksi and logan paul really could be the first billionaire youtubers if you've enjoyed this video then please subscribe and if you're watching this mr ksi or mr logan paul or mr max clemens or mr trey steiger do me a favor there's no prime left anywhere in hartford send me a bottle would you it's not for me you understand it's for the kids ksi logan paul if you're watching this then i'll love some prime it's not for me it's for my family See you later. What can you what? Yeah, of course you can. No one's ever asked me for a selfie. Thank you very much.